Hello and welcome to another video on adding and subtracting fractions and in this video we're going to be focusing on mixed numbers. So we're going to add 4 and 2 thirds to 1 and 1 quarter. Now the method I like to use when we're adding mixed numbers is to firstly convert them into improper fractions. So 4 and 2 thirds, we're converting that to an improper fraction. Well our denominator is still going to be 3 and our numerator 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So it's going to be 14 over 3. And then we're going to add on this number here. So again, our denominator is going to stay the same. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So it's going to be 14 over 3 plus 5 out of 4. And now we can just add these two fractions together. And if you're a bit unsure on how to do that, I recommend looking at one of my previous videos on adding and subtracting improper fractions. The first thing we need to do is find the lowest common multiple of our denominators. So what is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4? Well, that is 12. So we can convert these both, both of these fractions into equivalent fractions where the denominator is 12. So with our first fraction, to go from 3 to 12, we multiplied by 4. So we're going to need to do exactly the same with the numerator. 14 times 4, well, that gives us 56. And likewise, with the second fraction, to go from 4 to 12, this time we're multiplying by 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. So now we've got 56 over 12 plus 15 over 12. Now we can just add the numerators together. So 56 plus 15, that gives us 71. 71 over 12. So this is our answer. But if we look back to the question, both of the fractions were given as mixed numbers. So we need to convert our answer back into a mixed number. So how many times does 12 go into 71? Well, 12 times 6 is 72. So it's going to go five times. At 12 times 5 is 60, there's going to be 11 left over. So it's 5 and 11 twelfths. And that is our answer. OK, I'm going to do one more. And this time I'm going to do a subtraction. So again, the first thing to do is convert them both to improper fractions. So 6 times 6 is 36. 36 plus 1 is 37. So it's going to be 37 out of 6. And then 3 and 3 quarters. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So it's going to be 15 out of 4. So now we just need to subtract these fractions and the first thing to do is find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4 which is 12. So we're going to convert both of these fractions into equivalent fractions where the denominator is both 12. So to go from 6 to 12 we times by 2. So we're going to multiply 37 by 2 which gives us 74. And then to go from 4 to 12 we times by 3. 15 times 3 is 45. So now we've got 74 over 12 minus 45 over 12, we just subtract the fraction, the, the, the numerators. So 74 minus 45 is 29. It's going to be 29 over 12. And then we just convert that into a mixed number. 12 times 2 is 24. And we're going to have 5 left over. So it's 2 and 5 twelfths. And that is our answer. Okay, it's your turn now. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can work out the answer to these four questions. Okay, so let's look at this first one. So first of all, we're going to convert them, both fractions, into improper fractions. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So it's going to be 5 over 2 plus, this is going to be 4 over 3. And now we need to get fractions with the same denominator. So the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So our denominator is going to be 6. Now to go from 2 to 6, we're times in by 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. Go from 3 to 6, we times by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So now we can just add these two fractions together now. 15 plus 8 is 23. So it's going to be 23 over 6. And writing that, remember, we need to write it as a mixed number because the question uh, was in mixed number form. So how many times does 6 go into 23? Well, it doesn't go 4 times. It goes 3 times. So 6 times 3 is 18. And to get to 23, we need to add on 5. So it's 3 and 5, 6. Okay, for the second one, again, let's convert them into improper fractions first. 3 times 10 is 30. 30 plus 1 is 31. So it's 31 over 10. Plus, and then 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 over 3. And now we need to find the lowest common multiple of 10 and 3, which is just 30. So our denominators are going to be out of 30. So it looks like we're multiplying by 3. So 31 times 3 is 93. 
and then here we're times it by 10 8 times 10 is 80 and now we can just add these numerators together 93 plus 80 is 173 so it's 173 over 30 and now let's just write that in mixed number form so 30 times 5 is 150 so it's going to be 5 and then to go from 150 to 173 we're adding on 23 so it's 23 over 30. okay we've got a subtraction now so Again, let's convert them into improper fractions. 1 times 9 is 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. So it's 17 over 9 subtract 4 over 7. So we don't need to do anything with 4 over 7. It's, although it's not an improper fraction, it is still just a single fraction. So again, let's find the lowest common multiple of 9 and 7. And I believe that is 63. So our denominator is going to be 63. And what is our numerator going to be? Well, 9 times 7 is 63, so we're going to have to do 17 times 7. And I'm just going to do that down here. 17 times 7. So 7 times 7 is 49. Carry the 4. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 4 is 11. So it's 119. And now to go from 7 to 63, we times by 9. And I know that 9 times 4 is 36. So now we can just subtract the numerators. 119 subtract 36. Well, that gives us 83. So it's 83 out of 63. And then we're just writing that as a mixed number. It goes once. 1 times 63 is 63. So we've got 20 left over. So it's 20 out of 63. And that is our answer. And now one more. So let's again do the same process before. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, so it's 11 over 3. And then this one here, that's going to be 20 plus 11, which is 31, 31 over 20. Right, what is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 20? Well, that looks like it's just going to be 60. So our denominator is going to be 60. And to go from 3 to 60, we times by 20. 11 times 20, or 11 times 2 is 22, so it's going to be 200. And 20 and then to go from 20 to 60 we times by 3 9 uh, 31 times 3 is 93 so now we can just subtract the numerators 220 minus 93 or well, 220 minus 90 is 130 but we're taking another three away so that's going to be 127 so 127 over 60 I think that's right and now we'll just convert it to a mixed number. Well, I know that 20, 60 times 2 is 120. It's going to go twice, and there's going to be 7 left over. So it's going to be 7 out of 60. So hopefully that video was useful. And just before I finish, I just want to point out that this isn't the only method you can use to add and subtract mixed numbers. But the reason why I like this method uh, is because it doesn't matter if you've got an addition or a subtraction, or if you've got one mixed number and one proper fraction. As long as you follow the same process each time for each one, then you, you should get the correct answer. Thanks for watching.